Oh, you guys, I'm so frustrated. I did this whole video and then my phone crashed. <sighs> so anyway, TGI Friday. It's Chuck and Nene. If you're first time here, welcome. Hopefully I won't scare you away. Um, and if you are one of my faithful friends, thank you for coming back and spending some time with me again. Oh. When I was restarting, you guys, I just saw the advertisement. I want this so stinking bad. The new Razer flip phone. The, the Razer flip phone is back. I want it. You guys, if you haven't seen it, go Google it. Mmm. It's like a sleek smartphone that folds. Hence making it the flip. Oh, I loved my flip phone back in the day. I digress, I know. But, ooh, it is sexy and I want it. All right, let's get on with some other things. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff to tell you guys. I, I'm going to talk really fast because I have a lot to share. Um, my heart goes out to those of you that are not making it in trucking. Um, I don't know why. It's not my place to, to ask or to judge or to anything, but I feel really badly um, when I see people, and I don't want to say give up, but when I see them walk away from what was at one point their dream, um, I just, I, I just, my heart, my, I just, my heart goes out. Like, it's just really tough for me to hear those stories. So, um, secondly, I used to, this used to happen to me a lot. Things would happen to me and I would be like, why did that happen? You know, like everything happens for a reason. I'm going to share this really quickly with you. I was at a truck stop the other day. Yes, I went and bought popcorn. I know I'm not supposed to, but next to the popcorn that I buy, and my popcorn isn't placed by like the popcorn, like the smart pop and whatever that is. It's right like next to the Lay's chips because it's like a Lay's product. So it's like chip, 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 smart popcorn, whatever. But laying right next to the popcorn that I eat were two discarded scratch off tickets. So these were the bigger ones. They were 20 bucks a piece and they were already scratched off. And I thought, oh, somebody must have, you know, scratched them off, didn't want to throw them away, whatever. So I double checked them and one was a winner. So I won 20 bucks off of someone's discarded lottery ticket. Now I say discarded because at that point I was like, mm, you know, they just threw away the paper. Always pays to have somebody look at them twice. But did they leave it on purpose? So after I left with my popcorn, I stopped later that day for my 10 hour rest break. And I got up early the next morning to do laundry before I left. And it was like five in the morning. And I met um, an older gentleman by the name of Lester that works for Flying J or Pilot. I can't remember which one I was at. I consider them one and the same. But he's been there for 12, 13 years. So I was going to say something, but I'm not, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to judge. So he's been there for 12, 13 years. He was cleaning showers. Um, and we got to talking and he shared with me that on that particular day was the fifth year anniversary of his wife's passing. Oh. <sighs> You know, it's tough for somebody to share with you. Um, and my heart really went out for him, too, because I could tell that it still bothered him. He was still grieving, remembering her and the loss and all of that. And he was 54, he said. So um, he took out a picture of his in his wallet of him and her, like when they were in their 30s very very good looking couple like he looked like Richard Gere um and she was Native American her name was Awana what a beautiful name and so he just shared some stories 
And then he also mentioned that his mom had passed away nine months ago, so his father was now dealing with being alone, trying to start over. I mean, you got to imagine his father's at least, you know, I would think 20 years older than him. Um, so they're, you know, they're, it's a tough situation. And I, you know, I was trying to find the bright spot. Like, you could tell that he, um, he believed in a higher power. Like, he just spoke spiritually, religiously sort of thing. And well-mannered and just, just really a, a decent man. And I, you know, I just said, you know, obviously you want to celebrate her today because you're, you're talking about her. So celebrate the good times, celebrate the times that you had and, you know, appreciate the fact that you guys were together for 30 plus years, 30 plus years. So anyway, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot that I could do for him, but I wanted to do something. Um, so I went and bought him a $20 gift card for one of the restaurants that were in the, in the truck stop. And I just gave it to him and I said, you know what, just have lunch on me, celebrate, remember, remember the good times. Um, so I really feel like that lottery ticket that I found that was a winner was left for me so I could pay it forward, which I did. So that, that felt really good. Um, what else? Just a, just a, just been a, a lot going on, a lot, lot, lot. Um, so Chris called, yes, well, I talk to Chris all the time, but he specifically called yesterday about Thanksgiving. He wanted to know kind of, am I flying home? Am I driving home? When am I coming home? Um, so he's got, um, some family flying in from Jamaica that will be in New York City at um, another relative. So we were invited to Thanksgiving. So we are going to New York City for Thanksgiving, which should be fun. Um, so I'm going to drive home with the truck and then we'll fly out of the cities. When I say cities, I mean twin, the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. We'll fly out of there. Um, and do like a fly Wednesday, come home Saturday deal because I leave back out on Sunday. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh gosh, you guys, I'm super excited about this. Um, so Wilbert, remember Wilbert, my student, who's also my brother-in-law, he proposed to his girlfriend in the Canadian mountains, like the Jasper mountains. I, 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 what a unbelievable scene um, and she said yes so she's from Zimbabwe or her family's from Zimbabwe she's from Zimbabwe so there's a number of cultural ceremonies that have to take place so one is called the bride's price which is like a dowry and that is March 7th in Canada her family is flying over um, from Africa for that and then the second part of that ceremony will happen in Zimbabwe which we are thinking will be August of next year and Chris and I are going to that I'm so excited I've always wanted to go to Africa I know people say don't say you want to go to Africa it's a continent you know choose a country we're going to Zimbabwe so um yeah so on top of all of our other vacations, this is going to be, next year will be the, the, the year of vacations. And then it may be some time before we actually take another one. Cause we have, well, if, if I run them down from now till Zimbabwe, we have this New York city, Las Vegas, we're taking a cruise to Puerto Rico and some other islands. Then we go to Canada, then we take another cruise to the Bahamas for a destination wedding. Then we have a wedding in Jamaica in May. We have the cabin. Um, we were going to take the RV to Yellowstone. I don't know if that's going to happen. And then Zimbabwe in August.
But you know, there was an article that said traveling um, is much more beneficial to your health and like mindset versus anything that you can actually buy, like a tangible object. Sign me up. Chris and I always have such a good time when we travel. We have so many memories. Um, I just, I absolutely love it. So, oh, it's getting dark, you guys. I feel like, you know, if I had my sweater off, I would be like a floating head. Hey, maybe we should do that. <laughs> Can't get my sweater off. It's stuck on my watch. Fun is this, right? Watch. I have my I have to do my nails, so they're looking a little rough. You guys, I'm like a floating head. Check it out. And look at all this hair. How much my hair has grown since I've been out here. Need some need some hot oil treatment. But <clears throat> um, okay, so what else is going on? Um, what else? What else? What else? I feel like I have a ton of information. My mom fell again. She broke her left wrist. Oh, that poor woman can't catch a break. I just don't. She hit her head too, but they did a CAT scan. And um, she's okay from that respect. But she's all swollen and black. And, well, she, right now she's all black um, from the trauma on her wrist. And... I just I feel bad for her because she uses I mean she uses that to get up out of bed to get on her walker like now she needs total help to get up and it's you know we're in a precarious situation right now because she can't use that arm or that yeah that arm because it's in a sling it puts her at greater jeopardy for other falls so God willing, God willing, it's going to take about 12 weeks for her to come back from this. Um, so we'll just, we'll just see, we'll just see what happens. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, Marley June, my little grandbaby. Oh, I get pictures like I ask for every day and that may be a bit too much, but I get them at least every two to three days. And I, oh my gosh, I can see the changes in her. She's adorable. Oh, she's just like, she's got my heart. She's got my heart. And she will, she will grow up to be one fierce woman. That is for sure. So, um, my other son's girlfriend, she works for a, medical research company. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to name the company, but she had an accident at work and she had to have 13 stitches in her face. Oh, I just feel bad for her. But, you know, um, the dermatologist says that she has really good skin. I mean, thank God she's got youth on her side. Um, and if there's any sort of scarring that takes place, she can have laser treatments that will minimize the scarring and work's going to help, <clears throat> uh, take care of anything of, you know, like any reconstructive, um, procedures, reconstructive. I don't know if that's the right term, but you know what I'm saying? So... Load choice is going well. Love it. If you are with Prime and you are waiting for load choice, you know, they recently added another 300 people. So talk to your fleet manager and ask if you can be an early participant for testing. Um, but be, I mean, seriously, be ready. Um, know your lanes. Know the freight. Um, yeah, you're going to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Um, but learn from those mistakes. 
because sometimes they can be a, a hefty one. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, I really, truly enjoy it. I really, truly do. I think it was the smart thing for them to do. And I say that now, now when the whole fleet's on it, I don't know how much that's going to change, if it's going to significantly benefit me or significantly, I don't want to say penalize, but you know, you have that many more people going in for loads versus, you know, a set amount of fleet managers and sales managers. Now you have like, at the end of the day, you'll have what, probably 5,000 plus trucks because, you know, company drivers won't be able to do it, but yeah. So training, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to train. It's the holidays. I'm really enjoying solo life. I don't know. Um, but I'll go back to training anytime soon, just based on my travel schedule. Like I have a vacation almost every month next year. Like, I just don't think it's, it's wise to train. Um, so I'm, I'm probably going to not, not train and not team. I'm, uh, it, it. I'm running solo and I can't really say that my pay has gone down from from not teaming or training. I mean, I almost feel that it's the same if not more with load choice. It, I haven't specifically looked at the numbers, but if you look at this time last year when I was teaming versus this time this year on low choice even though freight is softer I don't know I don't know um, I used to I don't have time to do the comparison now but I'm just like opinion wise I just don't see I just don't see it I, I still I don't know I just I'm not I'm not feeling the pinch like you know, like some people will be like, oh my gosh, I make so much more teaming or, oh my gosh, I've lost so much money now that I'm solo. I don't, I don't feel that at all. Like, <sighs> um, let's see what else. I joined the everybody every day. I think that's the name of it. It's the health and wellness program that prime has now. They have a new health director. This is a free program and it's essentially to get drivers to move like physically move every day to get healthier. There's recipes, there's exercises. Um, I have my first coaching call on Monday. So I'm really looking forward to it. Sometimes you just need an accountability partner. Um, someone that you have to, you know, respond to, answer to, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I do find though, you guys though, that the fasting lifestyle is really is really what I prefer so I may go to like an OMAD um, or ADF alternate day fasting something of that I, I enjoy fasting I feel like my skin is better when I fast I feel like I look better I got a like a better positive outlook I don't know. It just it just does me. It's hugely beneficial to me. A lot of other people are like, oh, they just they just can't even imagine. I um I get overwhelmed with the idea of eating two three times a day. Like that I, I just maybe that's why I rely on popcorn because I don't have to think about it. Like oh, I'm hungry, but what do I want? Like I don't want to, you know. So. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till after my coaching call and and go from there. So, you know what's strange? Like, I'm in Pennsylvania and this is a really large lot. There's there's two lanes of traffic to come in and to go out, and then next to the out lane, there are two other lanes and the mobile um, chapels right there. So I don't know if people 
like trucks have come in and they're they're parked in this in these two lanes so I don't know if they if it's customary for you to come in park and then go to church like I don't know what they're like like I don't know what they're doing but they're lined up in these two lanes with their flashers on which goes to show you I don't go to the mobile chapel <coughs> excuse me I don't go to the mobile chapel <coughs> excuse me I got something in my throat but um yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Interesting. Um, this this video is all over the place and it's already at 20 minutes, but I have to I have to say this. I get a lot of requests for driving videos. So let me let me ask a point of clarification. Are you looking for videos with the camera pointing forward when I drive? Like I used to post like drives through the mountains, drives through, drive through the underground caves, drive through this, right? Um, or are you looking for me to talk while I'm driving? So the camera is like facing me because the, the latter of the two is never going to happen for safety reasons. I'm never going to film myself, um, driving down the road, nor would I ever film my student driving down the road like me in the passenger seat filming my student it's just not something I agree with so um so I don't know what you mean by more drive videos are you looking for like do you want me to go plant my camera when I go to back up at certain places because when you're by yourself um that can be difficult so, I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just asking, like, what, what do you want? What, what does that mean when you say drive videos? So, help me out there. Um, gosh, you guys, I'm, I'm pretty excited, too. I, like, this video is so long, and I, I really apologize, but I feel like I haven't really spoken to you guys in a while, which, okay, yeah, I haven't which is why I'm now like spewing stuff. Let me say this. Because I I find inspiration every day. Um if I don't look for inspiration, I will find the drama or the drama will find me. So I would rather find inspiration. What I'm finding is that literally in any part of your life, at any stage of your life, you can reinvent yourself, right? You can become who you really wanted to be. You can make yourself a better person. You can, you can do whatever you want. So if you come out to trucking, right, you can take online classes while you're trucking and get a degree. I've seen videos of ladies that drive and then when they shut down at night they do like um what is it the like the paparazzi jewelry or something like that where they do the online here's a pair of earrings it's number 26 who wants it and then somebody will type yep that's me and then like okay you you got this I'm shipping it out and so they have that that secondary revenue coming in while they're out here right then you see other people that go through other complete transformations. Um, you have people that just just become like, I don't know, seekers of knowledge, um, seekers of culture, seekers of, you know, whatever it may be. The reason I say this is because I feel like you know, I was a mom for so... I feel like I was a mom for so long. I'm still a mom, so don't get me wrong. But it's a little different when your kids are growing up, you know, until they reach the age of 18. It's a different kind of, like, mom um, versus what it is now, right? And for so long, every time I went to, like, the grade school or the high school, I was always, oh, you're Zach and Taylor's mom. 
or oh you're you know whatever you're number 27's mom because my you know this whatever you're number six's mom but all along you know I was my own person but I just didn't cultivate that you guys I I feel like I'm really coming into my own now maybe it's because I'm coming up on 50 but like I am going to be making some changes and it's because I'm gonna start doing what I've what I've what I've wanted to do for the longest time and just didn't because just because I, I could make up a number of excuses I could make up a number of reasons but it really doesn't matter I was the only one that was truly holding myself back because I could have did this stuff anyway so it's likely as videos go on you're going to see those changes I'm super excited I'll also ask for your input like what do you think because these will be I mean hopefully you'll I mean primarily physical changes secondarily you should see like a ripple effect into like my attitude and, and personality and things of that nature so I am going to reinvent maybe is not the right word maybe it's Maybe it's Nene 2.0. Maybe it's Nene 2.0. But I'm like, I'm super excited. So it probably won't happen until I get back on the truck from home time because I have to go home to make some stuff happen. So, but. I'm really excited. I'm really excited because I can finally be my authentic self and, and truly figure out, like, do I really want to be this and do this and, and look like this and pursue this? Or is it, oh, I tried it, I guess it wasn't for me. So, um, look for that because I'm pretty sure that following my Thanksgiving home time that my videos are going to pick right back up, um, because I have a lot of things to be thankful for. Um, I have a lot of really good things going on in my life as much as I'll get down from time to time and just need some, some time off to sort of get back to who I am um, you know this community is a big part of who I am too as Trekker Nene so you guys keep me motivated and um, keep me going so I appreciate that and it, you know it feels like sometimes when I feel like I'm at my lowest and everybody's got a different degree of low right but I'll open up my email and I'll, I'll get that, that email saying we truly enjoy watching you or you really help me or thank you so much for this video or you know and it, it, it just really just really puts a smile on my face knowing that I'm helping somebody so isn't that what it's all about right helping somebody um that needs help so all right I'm done with it <laughs> I'm done with the talking head isn't this creepy like even if I go back for it this is like this is like old time cinematic right like ooh. I could have so much fun just with this part of it but enough is enough all right you guys I gotta go my truck is a mess right now. I've got... I don't even want to talk about it. 
I'm telling you what, Freightliner should hire me for or for creating the, their truck. This is what I'll say, and this is the stuff that bothers me. If we put all of our units, like for um, you know, dash cams up up high on our windshield, you know what I mean, so they're out of the field of view, and then why? isn't there a way to feed the cords and why aren't there like USB or cigarette lighter holders up there? It's so stupid to have all these cords hanging. Like it, it just drives me crazy. And the fact that nothing stays in these, these stupid pockets for Freightliner, nothing. They have a map pocket. Oh my God. Don't get me started. They have a map pocket. Who uses a single map? And that's about as big as it is for, like, make it big enough for me to stick my atlas in there. A map pocket. And it's, it's not the netted kind, it's the molded plastic. So, like, my small stapler barely fits in that stupid thing. Oh, gosh. Don't get me started. All right. I gotta go. I gotta. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> This video could be seriously three times longer. I have so much stuff to share with you guys. You'll have to tune in for another video. Maybe when I get up to Connecticut. I love saying that. I know it's Connecticut, people. But I love saying Connecticut. I, I'm telling you what, with low choice, I am not going to Vermont. Please. Like, every time I get up there, they want me to go to Vermont and then from Vermont and go west. And coming out of Vermont, going west, I hate, I hate that drive. Because we can't cross over into Canada and then come back down through Michigan. Oh, I hate that drive. So I'm not going to Vermont. I don't care what it pays. I'm not going to Vermont. Because my luck, I will get loaded like mid-afternoon mid Vermont. And then bless their quaint souls driving through that area during the day is would be just downright gorgeous if I was on a road trip with no schedule but as a truck driver y'all drive me crazy y'all alright I'm gonna go it's the Minnesota goodbye that's been way too long Bye everyone. Thanks for thanks for checking in. If you stood with me this long of this video, 30, well, 33 minutes, thank you. Hopefully, hopefully it was worth your while. Have a great weekend. Be safe as always. Be kind and make somebody smile, even if it's yourself. Alright, this talking head is saying goodbye. Bye.